To connect Adobe Premiere with the Dalit Galaxy MAM system, Dalit has developed a module called Dalit Extend. Adobe Premiere video editors, both on Mac and PCs, connected with Dalit Extend, have access to the media asset management capabilities and content hosted in Dalit Galaxy, enabling and elevating collaboration with Dalit MAM users, such as journalists, prep editors, sports producers, and other production personnel. Let us go through a basic workflow of how video editors on Adobe Premiere connect to the Dalit system. Then we will show you some advanced features later. Inside Adobe Premiere, users bring up the Dalit Extend panel and log in using their credentials. All categories and content within Dalit are based on user rights, so some users won't even see this production category. I can either go directly to a Dalit category or conduct a search for the asset I want. I can import images, audio, video, video clips, or an EDL pre-prepared using Dalit editing tools. I can see the metadata of the asset in the browser view, including the title status of the asset. Now I either double click the asset or click the import button. I'm not actually importing the video to my desktop as all content I'm editing is on a shared storage managed by the Dalit system. All that is imported are pointers to the content on the shared storage. This means great time saving for video editors, importing content and less copies of the content made. I can do any editing I want in Adobe Premiere, add effects or transitions, and then render back to the Dalit system. There are different options to save into Dalit as we will see later on. For now, I'm going to create a new asset in the Dalit system by clicking this button. Since there are thousands of titles in the Dalit system, on a pre-configured form such as this, I can enter any metadata that would help others find the content easier. Now I click the export button and this triggers Adobe Encoder to render my content, meaning I can continue editing on Adobe Premiere instead of having to wait for the render to complete. Now that we have seen a basic workflow, let us experience the more advanced features of Dalit Extend that facilitate collaboration and creative workflows. Dalit creates proxies automatically upon ingest, and while content ingest, within seconds, video editors on Adobe Premiere can already start editing without having to wait for the full ingest to complete. By the way, Dalit also ingests, extracts, and associates the closed captions to the video asset, which we will see later in Adobe Premiere. With the Dalit workflow engine, a workflow can be designed that once content ingests, it'll be scanned by an auto QC system, which through API associates the QC audio and video issues report with the ingested asset as time-coded locators. We will later see how this makes correcting content easy for the video editor. Once the content has been ingested, QC'd and metadata entered, the Dalit workflow engine can inform a production assistant as a user task to start shot selection using Dalit Media Logger, which can be accessed on the full Dalit client or using Dalit web space, accessible over the internet. With the closed caption showing up as locators in Dalit Media Logger, along with logging done by others, the production assistant or video editor can easily search for words or sentences and jump to those parts of the video to make shot selections. Once the shots have been selected using Dalit Storyboarder, the user can put the shots in the order that the user wants. Once finished, the user can either save the EDL in Dalit, which can later be opened on Adobe Premiere, or choose an editing workstation to send the EDL to. If the content has rights restrictions, a pop-up message will appear, stating that the content is either fully or partially restricted. And if the user agrees to use the content, then a report is sent to a manager that restricted content was used. Inside of Adobe Premiere, I can edit the content in high resolution or in proxy, meaning I edit in proxy resolution and then conform to the high res upon render. Since the closed captions were extracted as locators, I can see them as markers below the source window, on the timeline, and inside my markers panel, making it easy to find specific content. As well, the content was scanned by an auto QC program, which makes it easy to jump to the issue and add a filter or correct the audio if required. If we were editing sports content with multiple cameras, another nice feature is that if a nice play like a goal is logged using Dalit Event Logger, the system automatically generates clips from all the different camera angles. On top of rendering a new asset into Dalit Galaxy, there are other saving options as well. You can save the Adobe Premiere sequence or project by clicking these buttons, or the system can save these automatically when a video is rendered. This way I or another video editor on a different workstation can work on this later. If a placeholder already exists for this content, which can be embedded into a story in a news rundown, I click this button. While the content is rendering, I can already play out the content within a few seconds of starting the render, since the video is already in the on-air rundown, allowing news organizations to break news faster than ever. When I save my edited content using Dalit Extend, depending on the selection I make in the metadata form, this can trigger a Dalit Workflow Engine workflow to do such things as transcode the content, trigger tasks to associate subtitles or dub tracks, or update traffic or scheduling systems. I have the option to choose the format I want to render in, and I can also decide if I want to render the full sequence on the timeline or just what I selected. 
I can also render multiple sequences at the same time. Once the rendered content is in the Dalit system, it's available to anyone with rights to view, approve, or reject, as well as to insert in rundowns or export to various locations, such as YouTube. The project and sequence are linked to the rendered asset in case the user needs to make corrections later. With project locking capabilities, content in Adobe Premiere sequences or projects are not deleted unless the system is given permission to do so. On top of this, Dalit Galaxy has media genealogy capabilities, meaning I can easily see what titles were used to make this video, as well as see what videos are in each Adobe Premiere sequence and project. The locators of parent videos are inherited by the child videos, and if I make a change to the marker in Adobe Premiere, that updates the locators in the Dalit system, meaning locator information is bi-directional. With the Dalit Report Center, I can see how long it took each editor to edit content by the day, month, and year as well as how many times content was used in sequences, how many times it was played out in traditional broadcast or viewed online. That's giving management an outlook into bottlenecks and workflows, media usage, consumption, and a glance at the productivity of users. Dalit's a really important part of our equation because so many of our customers have chosen to do media asset management with their solutions, but also workflow orchestration with their solutions. So to us, um, a great partner is somebody who really focuses on the same thing we do making sure a creator, when they sit down in front of the software, has a unified experience and they can focus all their energy on telling their story and as being as creative as they possibly can. So this relationship has been fantastic. So when you sit down and you're working at a Dalit Adobe workflow, it feels unified and you get your job done faster.